process by which nitrogenous cellular waste is eliminated is called excretion. The excretory system, urinary system of man, comprises of a pair of kidneys, ureters, the urinary bladder and the urethra. The kidneys. They are reddish-brown bean-shaped structures placed on either side of the vertebra column in the lumbar region. The right kidney is placed at a lower level than the left because of the liver. Each kidney is about 11 centimeters in length, 6 centimeters in breadth and 3 centimeters in thickness. The average weight of the kidney is 135 grams to 150 grams. Each kidney is covered by a fibrous connective tissue membrane called capsule. The outer surface of the kidney is convex while the inner surface is concave. The depression found in the middle of the inner concave region is known as the hilus. The renal artery and the nerve enter and the renal vein and ureters exit. Internally, the kidney is divided into an outer cortex and an inner medulla. The medulla consists of several cone-shaped renal pyramids. The pyramids open into funnel-shaped depressions called calices. The calices converge to form the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis then narrows to form the ureter. The ureters leave the kidneys and open into the urinary bladder. Each kidney is made up of one million nephrons. Nephron Nephrons is the basic functional unit of the kidney. Each nephron consists of an enlarged terminal end called renal corpuscle, malphigian capsule, proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henley, and a distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubule opens into a collecting duct. The collecting duct and loop of Henle lie in the medulla and other parts in the cortex part of kidney. The renal corpuscle muscles about 0.2 mm in diameter and consists of a double-walled cup-like structure, the Bowman's capsule and a bunch of capillaries called the glomerulus. The glomerulus is supplied with blood by the efferent arteriole and is drained by an efferent arteriole. The cavity of the Bowman's capsule opens into the proximal convoluted tubule. The proximal convoluted tubule straightens out to form a U-shaped loop of Henle, which has a descending and ascending limb. The ascending limb gives rise to the coiled distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubule opens into the collecting tubule. The collecting tubules open into the duct of Bellini, which ultimately opens into the calices through the apices of the pyramids. Nephrons are 50 to 55 millimeters long. Ureters. The two ureters connect the kidney with the urinary bladder. The urine from the pelvis reaches the urinary bladder through the ureters. Urinary bladder. It is a hollow muscular organ serving as a reservoir of urine. Its capacity varies from 120 to 620 ml. From the neck of the urinary bladder exit the urethra, the opening of which is controlled by sphincter muscles.